Hello, yes, rats, rubbish, and useless counsellors, part two. That's right. I've just uh, received 5,000 leaflets. They'll be going out uh, over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and next week, hopefully get them all out. Uh, of the new leaflet I've uh, had produced for Kensington. I've left a screenshot of side one, let's say, at the front of the video. Side two is a five-point plan. Jones' five-point plan for Kensington. I'll keep you guessing on that. But anyway, uh, the screenshot at the front is, say, like side one. Um, I was driving around Kensington again last night, as well as Smith Down Road all around there, which I'll get to in a minute. And Kensington, like I've said before, is getting worse and worse by the day. I don't know if all the third world has come out of a night and they're in of a daytime because it seems to be getting worse every time I drive around there of a night. It really is a shocking place. And whoever is responsible, central government, Joe Anderson, Liverpool City Council, the three sitting Labour councillors for Kensington, who's ever responsible for wrecking Kensington, because that's what they've done, needs putting in jail. Because there is no one, no one, that could say what's happened to Kensington has been a good thing. Joe Anderson, make a statement. Ricky Tomlinson, Derek Hatton, I'm not picking on YouTube, because I quite like YouTube as well. I do believe you've got the interest of the working class at heart, but you remain in silence. Others who I don't like say Billy A is another hypocrite, Alan Gibbons, another hypocrite, nice paid jobs and live in 100% white areas with the white partners, all hypocrites then. You need to go and rent a flat on Shield Road and live there. Move there if you love multiculturalism and diversity and you'd soon be cured of these delusions. Trust me, you would, but you've no intentions of. You've no intentions of ever, ever letting your children live there. Trust me, you wouldn't. So, who's ever responsible for wrecking Kensington and should be put in jail? And like I've said, I want one of you, all of you, whatever, to make a statement saying what's happened to Kensington has been a good thing because it hasn't and you know it hasn't. Okay, thank you.